dials for the future. Get as much fucking money as I can. <laughs> just get back in, pretty much. And the money. <laughs> hey, I'm Chris Holder, and you're watching Talking Dirt. So your plans are to get back in the GPs? Yeah, for sure. The last, um, man, five years probably has been a big struggle, more so off the bike than on it, but it's obviously transformed on the bike. It's been pretty average and um, that's all pretty much behind us now, which has been a big weight lifted. So coming to this year, I obviously want to start looking, you know, I want to get back in the Grand Prix for sure. I still think on my day anyway, I can mix it with them boys. I just obviously haven't been nowhere near consistent enough to be running up there with them and they've gone to another level again. So you need to put in a lot more work these days. And um, after all that crap that's gone on, then yeah, this looking into this year, I've um, probably put in more work than I've really ever have. And the next step for the GP is obviously the qualification rounds. You got to get in the, into them qualifiers. And I think it's top three, it's only top three, man. It's super tight. So try and get the top three or four, maybe. Once you're in the challenge, it's just one night, top three and or nothing else, or you're not in, so. Obviously, I'm not really at the top of the pecking order for any wildcard stuff, which I'm not really worried about. I'm, you know, obviously a lot older than the younger guys coming through. So my only way back in is to make it on my own. So that's, that's the plan. Jackie's keen as he's obviously at that age where he, um, he wants to be in there. And, you know, not many young guys get a go in these days. It seems to be you got to be like mid twenties or whatever and have a lot of good equipment behind you. And he's riding really good. I've got to try and keep him sort of behind me at least, but no, nah, he's going good. So. Hopefully, you know, in the next year or so, he can get his, get his way in there too. Hey, I'm Jack Holder, and you're watching Talking Dirt. You know, it's not a bad stadium to have as a home track, and believe it or not, I'm the track record holder, so uh, can't get much better than that. Probably my second meeting here, I think. This is, my, this is the only one I've got. <laughs> And no one's got close to it. <laughs> Both my brothers were over here doing the speedway scene and, you know, I was stuck in Australia working. Um, and then, yeah, I finally came over here and, you know, watched them both, you know, pursue their dream. And um, that's what I wanted to do. And then, you know, Chris was lucky enough to, to make it over in Nepal and it's the best speedway league in the world. And, yeah, that's where, exactly where I wanted to be. And... You know, I think it's my third season now and, you know, I'm here doing one of my dreams. How much of a help has it been, you know, having your brother in or if you'd had to have done it all on your own? Yeah, it's been a, a massive help. Um, you know, not many other riders can say that, but, um, yeah, 100%. It's opened up a lot of doors for me that other people don't have. So, you know, I, you take advantage of that and um, we want each other to you know, do their best and, you know, that's what we're doing and we're over here doing our thing. How will he be if you qualify in the Grand Prix and he doesn't? Oh, nah, he's been there and done it. Um, of course, he, he wants to get back into it and, you know, I'm coming up and I want to get, get into it. So, um, yeah, he, he'd obviously be happy for me and I would be happy for him. We might both be in it. As you can see, got one of these uh, new GM NX engines from my engine tuner that he wants to um, try it out. So we're lucky enough to have a practice during the week here in Torren and see how she goes. <laughs> Hopefully it's a rocket. Said he's been working on it for two years and yeah, now it's ready for have a race on it. So he asked if I wanted to have a go, give her a go. Hopefully it's good. If he's saying it's good to go. <laughs> I trust him. How heavy is that thing? You're making that look pretty easy. <laughs> Sweet. 
changes the hardest part. What am I? Say it's looking bad. I need more of this. <laughs> that way is all right. I have I, I broke this one so that when I do this one, it, sometimes it hurts a little bit. Mm -hmm. But this way is all right. But when it's strained this oh, way, yeah. kind of an old. Nice, bad. That's about ten, I think. You found Easy. Nice. This is left one. Six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten. Oh, 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 my right one, I can't even grip it out of my hand, don't even hold on to it. Look in the mirror, Jerry. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. That thinks that's fun. Yeah. What happened with the whole Patterson thing? Yeah, not nothing really happened. We're good friends. Oh, we're not good friends, but we, we have no bad blood there. Yeah. So no, it's all good. I can't change the story. It's already been said. Yeah. Can't even make it up. Like, yeah, I told the. Kid. <laughs> <laughs> like we had cut. We had a race here the other night. And man, I went to go around him up here. And me that he shut the door and I knew it was coming I was like am I gonna make that and I went 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 and I thought oh, I ain't making that and I stopped and he fucking, I swear his back wheel was in between me I was like that. and then he beat us and he was, I was like yeah fair enough whatever no worries but then I got him back in the last one and after the race he's like it was your turn to win this one <laughs> but in the first corner it was funny because in the first corner in heat 15 the other day I was off gate one and he was off gate two and I made a nod, but he made a start, or we both made a pretty good start, and he was saying, nearly, it was nearly like deja vu, he was trying to come across, but this time I knew that fucking shit bit of dirt was there, and I just fucking moved him out and went like, I should have done that a few years ago. We had nothing to whinge about then. The used one, the, what we had last time? I reckon that looks good, eh? That oh, mouldy fruit. I love salt and vinegar chips, man, and cannot, I even get the translator out, look, see if I can see any, can't find anything. And then we come in here and there was salt and vinegar Pringles, the big blue pack. I had them eating, I was eating them while I was in here. I never know, got out of here yet, I hadn't paid for them yet. Salt and vinegar. <laughs> you little dancer. Going through a bit of an orange phase at the moment. <laughs> you don't want them ones. <laughs> Yuck. Well, that's, that's way too many. No green stuff on them ones, we're good. Jelly, anyone for jelly? Gets the job done. It's so big in here, you just get lost. We just do this, this would be a good solid hour in here. Can't beat a Coke bottle. <laughs> big fan. The deluxe pack. <laughs> That'll be gone, Savo. Could be in the wrong aisle here. Eh? I don't remember it being down here. <laughs> We're doing another lap. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Oof. Oh. Big black sausage man. I was trying to find it, but I couldn't. There must have been someone's taken them all. I think it's like traditional or something too. It's just, oh. how many different types of eggs are there? Like what's just a standard egg? I look right, I think. That's good. Keep them out. Mm -hmm. 2008 I came here. I remember when I was coming here and they were talking about obviously we did one full season at the old place and they had all these massive plans and it was probably the first stadium in Poland to actually have one of these ones. Now they're all sort of have them but 
I remember looking at the plans and they're showing us and like obviously trying to get us to come here and I'm looking at it going, not a chance is that happening. And then sure enough, man, 12, well, not even 12 months, six months later, this thing popped up and I was like, holy crap, like this is the real deal. And then, yeah, I think I was like the second or third guy to get to go on and I think the home, the Torren boys or the Polish guys got to ride it first. But yeah, the following year, 2009, we started racing here. It's the track's awesome, man, it's great. Even when it's not that good, it's still good. Like you only got to look at this joint. <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty special. That little fella and stretching his legs. Give him some. How's he going? He's crying because he just pushed one out, mate. <laughs> Each sleep, repeat. <laughs> they got it made. I remember going to GPs or going to meetings and then just be arguing with people on the phone and solicitor emails and just constant crap and then see all my mates at the GP or whatever smiling having a good time and I'm just sitting there going it's not fair <laughs> but um but yeah it's all done man and that's honestly that's a big relief that I've got no attachment to that anymore so it's good probably shouldn't have said <laughs> beep yeah you know to edit literally just start again it's like starting again but I'm excited so